Hello, my name is Jeremy Ortiz, and the game that I'll be going over for the Let's Play assignment is Rayman Legends. Uh, Rayman Legends is the fifth installment in the Rayman series, um, made by Ubisoft, and it was released in uh, it was released in February 2014 for the Xbox and PlayStation 4 consoles. It came out a year prior for the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Um, the game that I will be comparing this uh, Rayman's Rayman game to is uh, the Atari game Pitfall that was released by Activision uh, in 1982. Rayman Ray Legends is a platformer type casual game and it fits into this category because People of any age can grab this game and immediately understand how to play and not get bogged down by, you know, intricate game mechanics like that are seen in more modern games nowadays. The mechanics of the game are fairly simple, um, utilizing all four of the buttons on the Xbox One console, the X, A, B, and Y buttons, as, long, as well as the R, B, and L, B triggers and the L, T, R, T triggers as well. Um, one, the mechanic right here, you uh, one cool added to the game is your character right there, which is this little green froggy bee thing you can use to interact with other enemies and parts of the level to gain a further access. Um, right here, you are able to tickle an enemy, which distracts them and is, will not uh, inhibit any further damage to you, and you're able to kill these enemies and gain a new part of the level, as seen right here. Rayman Legends is a bit different from these, uh, I guess, milled out uh, platformer style games that seem to just be releasing every couple of months on the arcade of uh, Xbox Live Arcades or the PlayStation um, PlayStation Network. That it, it's definitely more interactive with the environment, more interactive with the level, and it causes the users to think. Right here is. I believe, you know, a nice homage to Pitfall uh, with the cutting and swinging of the rope to go over parts of the level that may harm you. In this case, the water doesn't harm you, but it, swinging does help you to not be in the water long enough to maybe be attacked by uh, enemies in there. Parts of the game that I like about this are, uh, as stated before, uh, the interaction with the level and your care and your little companion sidekick uh, to help gain access to other parts of the level. It really does add a more, you know, complex, interactive slash, you know, extreme thinking feel to the game. It's not just a simple linear platformer where you're just forced to go from left to right and have nothing else happen along the way. The parts of the game that I do not like, um, I think there could be more going on in the levels as opposed to just just jumping and swinging and grabbing parts. I feel like if they make make parts of the levels uh, kind of become almost like an endless runner to where you can't go back and must speed through, I think creates more of a you know a timely timely processed game which is similar to the game that we're designing now for the um, this class there are definite definite style differences between pitfall and Rayman legends obviously because of the time difference it being you know, 22 32 years older than in pitfall but you can tell that pitfall has influenced a lot of platform style games that have come out in the last I think Five to nearly ten years, and feel that Pitfall is a very pivotal game. There's a lot of game designers now who want to make indie games, such as like Braid and Fez and Super Meat Boy, and uh, a lot of these games I feel have a lot of tribute to be paid for older style games, older style platform games like Pitfall.